Let's split up. I'll go in first, and then you can slip in while I keep the main defense force busy. Okay, now we are back with more of Mega Man X. Now we're about to do Sigma's Fortress. And Sigma's Fortress, like Wily's Fortress in the later Mega Man games, is split into four stages. Though X2 is the only exception to that rule, because that one had like about like five. Every other stage after, every other game afterwards always had him like four, and sometimes maybe less. Oh, this can't be easy enough. This actually is easy to make through. really do like the music for this, because it sets the atmosphere nice. Really? Darn. And we're getting close. Stay back, X. I'll take him on. Okay, what's really going on? My guess it's not going so well. X, do what I tell you or he's history. Don't listen to him, X. Go ahead and blast him. Dream on, Zero. X knows he can't defeat me. My armored carrier is more than a match for his ancient weapons. Hmm. I guess my destroying him here is all part of Sigma's plan. Not that I usually like following other people's plans. Yo, Fig, you don't need to do much, just deal damage to him. Deal damage to him until his health drops. And then once, it's, once your health goes really low, he will stun you, and that's begin the second part. Don't be so smug. Maybe, but I'm not through yet! What a worthless gesture! I can't be defeated so easily! Well, so X, it's just you and me now. What the? Where did that energy come from? It really doesn't matter how much energy you absorb, X. You are still far too weak. Prepare to be terminated. Hope you're ready, X. And yeah, this guy's not a tough fight. He's not tough either. Vile, for all intents and purposes, is not a tough opponent. In fact, you can actually manage this well enough. His weakness is the shotgun ice, but I also hear he's also weak to the rolling sheet. Which is surprising. And yeah, this guy is hes a tough customer. For a bow off that ripoff, he really does back a punch. Having weapons in his arms and legs, that's saying a lot. I'm not done yet! Yeah, now you are. Nice knowing you, Vile. X, I've taken too much damage. Auto repair systems can't handle it. My power's fading fast. Your power is greater than I thought. Maybe you can destroy Sigma. Go now, Maverick Hunter X. Yeah, that's a depressing way for you to go. Sadly, we are very weak. Yep, yeah, we are very weak. Has to be done. 
Even though we have the armor and everything, that's still not gonna cut it. Now it's a long climb to the top. Humor me, game. Humor me. Oh, who am I kidding? Exactly. With the charge shot in place, we can now be able to camouflage ourselves. Though it's only temporarily, it does work. And now we gotta fight the Robot Masters again. Or the Mavericks, as you prefer. You do understand you're not as tough, right? See what I mean? They're nothing more than a distraction of anything else. They're nothing but a distraction to the true thing that's up ahead. Yep, the true boss that's right across. And I may be asking more than I bargained for. Yep, this guy. Though I can imagine just five shots. Or le or more, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, it's, it's the bane of a lot of players that had to play this game. You gotta time your shard shot, right? There you go. But as the more health he goes down, the faster he gets. See what I mean? He's gonna get faster and faster and faster. And the faster he gets, the harder he becomes. Or to be precise, the more annoying he gets. Yeah, this was like the bane for me back when I was a kid. I couldn't even beat that boss back then. And sure, most times I play the games and I have to wait, like, they come a few days late and I have to pay late fees, which is stupid, but what can you do? That's 90s for you, in a nutshell. Now you're at the point where he's extremely fast and you can't do much. See what I mean? Nice knowing you, pal. Another one bites the dust. Now we move on to stage two. Each of them are just as good music wise because each of the Sigma stages are just that enjoyable. Oh no, I forgot the dash! Crud! Let's try that again. At least I still have plenty of lives left. Sadly, you don't refill, you don't get your weapon energy refilled if you lose a life. They rectify that in X5. X5 onwards. Good. Every 
refilled up my weapon energy nicely. Maverick Hunter X, the level layout for that is very different. Yep, it's Chill Penguin again. This time we have what we need to give you the well-deserved burn you deserve. Nuts. Yeah, he does a sliding attack. Come on, is that it? How pathetic. Nuts. Nuts, you wrecked my ride. What really sucks is that even before back then, you could pretty much be able to still use it. Guess it doesn't work that way this time, huh? Now comes the next Maverick. So it begins. Step into battle. Seriously, you're not even a joke. This time I get my no hit run for that. Really? Seriously? Now fall. I said. Well, whichever works, I guess. Only two Mavericks, that means the rest we have to fight in there, huh? Fair enough. Let's get them out of the way. Ranga Banga. Oh, this is gonna get annoying. Yeah, there are spikes on the bottom too, you gotta watch out for. And yeah, this guy's pattern is pretty simple enough. Don't worry, he has like three different eyes blue, red, and green. And goodbye. Pretty simple, right? Another job well done, right? Next stage three. Now let's see how we'll manage in a place like this. Okay, who's first? Oh, you.
Yep. Gotta at least show that, because you hardly ever see it. This time I'm not making excuses. And done. Yeah, you actually finally get to see the rolling shield at work. Yeah, this is pretty much a gauntlet for anyone wondering. Good. Number two. Let's go. Yeah, and he also has a neat trick. He can go stealth mode and strike you. Strike you with his iron tongue. And that iron tongue is useful for, well, a lot of evil stuff. Pathetic. You are going to need that boomerang cutter much later. There. Knowing number three would probably be Spark Mandrill. Let's go. Dodge. Yeah, easy. Simple, right? Although if I wanted to, I could just go like doing like runs with just using the Mega Buster and that's it. That would be nice. And I also like when you change different weapons, he changes colors. That's a nifty feature that has been around since the original Mega Man game. Now let's have the boomerang cutters with us for now. Why is that? Simple. Just watch. Because we're up against Launch Octopus Ness. Yeah, they don't do much, but just watch. Once you do enough damage to them, you'll see. There you go! Now you're powerless! You can't use your spinning attacks anymore! This makes the rest of the boss fight a piece of cake. Yeah, see what I mean? Using the boomerang cutters cut off his tangles, which means he can't do that spinning siphon attack. Then you can pretty much just use the rolling shield and that's it. I got two tanks full of energy. Gotta save them for at least the end game. Or better yet. Yeah, bypass the entire thing. Simple, right? And now we meet the even bigger joke. Oh, they meant that literally. No, I mean that. Literally, dude. Going in reverse order, I see. You're done. And 
now the only thing that remains is through there. That tank. It's weak to the boomerang cutter, I'm just saying. You just gotta aim for the top because the bottom, you can't do much. And if you take too long, that thing is gonna smash you. Although you can use it to your advantage. Better watch out, though. Yeah, by that point, its health is gonna, its move gonna move faster, and it's a more dangerous. But nothing you can't handle, right? Another job well done. Don't worry, I'll be saving the Hadouken one for much later at the end. Let's move on to stage four. Yeah, not much else other than to go up. You can actually do this opportunity to stock up on energy you missed out on. It really does help. Though, honestly? Yeah, but once you hear that sound, that means you filled an energy tank. You gotta make sure you have four energy tanks filled. Because you gotta be prepared. Because what if something happens and you're forced to go through the entire final boss all over again, but with less weapon energy? Yeah, because that would really suck if you did. These later games give you the opportunity to go back. Nice, you got a life. Sometimes you get extra lives in this case. Come on. There you go. Now we're maxed out. Let's do it. Besides, we have a boss fight to take down. Sigma. Welcome. I see you managed to get here by yourself. Very impressive. I could destroy you, but I would not rob my pet of that pleasure. He knows how to deal with betrayers. Should you live, I will be waiting for you. Don't disappoint me, X. Really? This is what we gotta deal with? Yeah, it's weakness is the shotgun ice. No, you better watch it because that thing hurts. That did it. Now here comes the true fight. Excellent job, X. I see why Zero counted on you. You are almost as good a hunter as I was. But the time of your destruction has arrived. You shall regret ever having defied me. Defied you? It's the other way around, Sigma. Yeah, that's that sword attack of his hurts like a truck. You don't want to get hit by that. His weakness is the electric spark. Come on, dude. Yeah, I always have this memory that back when I was a kid, I was able to make it that far. And done. Now comes a real fight. One that I think a lot of us don't like. Sigma's true form. Its weakness is the rolling shield. Yeah, you're gonna have to time your jumps right. 
And yeah, Maverick Hunter X is actually more challenging. Or easier, depending on if you're lucky enough to make it that far. Bear in mind, you don't want to get burned or incinerated. Yeah, if you're doing this without armor, I'm warning you right now, you will get wrecked. You gotta stay at the edge to completely dot the blast. There you go! It's over! No! It's not possible! I'm a Reploid! I can't be destroyed by you! Why, X? Why have you done this to us? Without the humans, my Reploid brothers could have ushered in a new age! The Sigma's base went kablooey! Her way that boss fight wasn't that hard, but if you're prepared, you'll manage. The war has ended, for now, and peace has been restored. But those who sacrifice themselves for the victory will never return. Exhausted. X gazes at the destruction he helped cause, and wonders why he chose to fight. Was there another way? Not likely. Standing on the cliff, the answers seemed to escape him. He only knows that he'll fight the Mavericks again before he finds his answer. How long will he keep on fighting? How long will his pain last? Maybe only the X-Buster on his hand knows for sure. There you have it. That's the ending in a nutshell. What you're seeing next afterwards is pretty much a credit showing all the villains, with X running about. But yeah, it was actually pretty good. It was actually pretty fun. And I like how it, as it ends, the sun starts rising and it symbolizes a new era of hope. Hope for X, hope for the Reploids, the humans, and the world. But hey, only time will tell for sure. It really does. But considering that back then this was the first Mega Man X game, it still holds up. Frankly, we have seven other X games we have to do, and each are going to be harder than the next. Believe me. And along with that, we also get a showing of all eight Mavericks that we fought, or rather all the characters that we've seen. I like that, it's actually pretty nice that they show everything in the credits. Just like as it was for the Mega Man games, Mega Man 1 through 10. Or rather, yeah, Mega Man 2, it started with Mega Man 2 onwards. And yeah, each of them turned out to be tougher than the rest. Although some exceptions being actually at like two game overs. Is it my fault? Yeah, pretty much. But hey, you at least get to see me kick butt, right? At least that's good enough. Still just as good to play. 
And it's still just as fun. And there's Vile. We won't be seeing him again until Mega Man X3. And Sigma. Zero. That is cool. Very cool. And yeah, that's pretty much the Mega Man, Mega Man X, the first one. Surprisingly, it still holds up well. For a game that came out almost 25 years ago, this game still holds up. I still remember playing it when I rented it in Blockbuster, and finally beating it made it all the more satisfying. Although when I was finally done, I just pretty much just turned off the SNES and moved on with my day. But yeah, Mega Man X is still a fun game. Thankfully, you should rather play it whether it be on the SNES, the Virtual Console, or this. Whether it be the X Collection on PS2, or the Mega Man X Legacy Collection that's available right now. Yeah, I recommend it. It's still a fun game, it still holds up, and the replay value is to the roof. I mean, it is to the roof. Don't go anywhere, there's still one last thing we need to do before we finish things up. Yeah, and I'll show you how to get the Hadouken. So don't go anywhere. You have won a temporary victory, X. What you destroyed was only a temporary body. My spirit remains. My spirit remains intact. In time, I will find other bodies strong enough to do my bidding and I will return. I shall see you soon, X. Very soon. Okay, we're back. Now, if you're wondering what this is, do not fret. And yeah, every time you start again, you have to reset the two. What can you do? Yeah, because today we're going to be showing off how to get the last one. The last upgrade for X. The Hadouken. And yeah, doing that is a little bit harder than it sounds. Why is that? Simple. You not only need full energy for this, I think you'll probably need to make sure you have to do that. They like die on the stage like five times. That's like you're asking for it. That's crazy. But in order to do that, you need like a load of extra lives for this. So I suggest you farm for the extra lives when given the chance. Like that one, for instance. Really, you destroyed my way. I should have actually used the fire wave for this. Nice. We're actually making progress. Yeah, this place is actually a good opportunity for you to grind up on energy, grind up on energy and life. You're gonna have to do this like five times to do this, and on the fifth time, you'll be able to get the Hadouken upgrade, provided you have enough lives for that. Though if, though if you don't feel like the trouble, yeah, what can you do? Which means I may have to fast forward a bit, so that way I can show you. That did it. Should have went with that round instead. And now we reach this part. Here is where you're gonna have to like die like five times. Why is that? Simple. That's the only that's the only way you can get the Hadouken. At least in X2, it's rectified. Yeah. Here. That means once you reach all the way to the end, die. That's it. 
I'm not saying anything else other than that. That's the only way. And now you gotta redo it like multiple times. It stinks, but this is the only option we have. I gotta go through everything else again. That's two. I'll see you guys when we reach number five. Hopefully. Alright, we're back. After five deaths. Yep, there it is. There's the capsule. I give you a special present. Now, enter the capsule, please. Sure, Dr. Light, but what's with the gi? Well, either way, with this, we get the upgrade that we desperately needed. The answer lies in the heart of battle. Yep, we got the Hadouken. Pretty much the little Easter egg this game has. To do it, you have to do a quarter circle forward motion with the shot button, which is the Y button. It takes a while, but it can only be done at full health. And yeah, seeing me do it is just awesome. So yeah, that is pretty much going to be it for Mega Man X. I will see you guys in Mega Man X 2. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. And I will see you in Mega Man X 2. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and more importantly, click on the bell. Doing all five of these things help me. If you want this channel to thrive, it's the only way. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.